I'd like to uh, demonstrate the Excel file that I've created to uh, measure MMW. When it opens, it'll be on the on the instructions page. Down here at the bottom, there are other worksheets. One's called Reference. This reference sheet can be printed out on a piece of paper. <coughs> It'll be one, one page, and uh, you can make all of your uh, references to um, temperature and then, and then uh, the conversion. And it comes with a, um, an Ohm's Law. Uh, an Ohm's Law wheel for helping you figure out the relationship between power, voltage, resistance, and uh, current. The other, well, the most important worksheet is the um, data entry worksheet. Now, you can't do anything to this sheet to make either to break it because for example here, if I try to type something in here, it just won't let me. The, um, the cells are all locked, except for the, the few cells that um, I've chosen to, uh, to have as input, such as um, the time. Now up here is an automatic date and it will always be the current date. Whatever the day is right now, that's the date it will show. Um, then you can put in a time of your experiment. For example, you did it like uh, 10 o'clock in the morning or um, you know, 1400 hours. For uh, You can use your standard 12 hour time if you like too, but I, I, I prefer my military time. Um, then you enter in your your gas temperature. You tell it whether it's Fahrenheit or Celsius. Doesn't matter which method you're using. This this knows how to figure it out. So, for example, I've entered in 99.2 degrees Fahrenheit, and it has um, converted that over to a temperature of 37.333 degrees Celsius. And you enter in your um, your um, volts your amps, how many seconds it took to fill your HHOometer, and you tell it how many uh, milliliters your HHOometer uh, took to fill. Like, it could be 400, it could be whatever you want it to be, you just put that number in there so you're not stuck doing just 500 or just 1,000 milliliters. And then I put in here a space for a plate temperature. So I still feel that that's uh, somewhat important uh, to know exactly what uh, the temperature of your cell is running at. So this is good data to keep. Now that converts to uh, seconds per liter, liters per minute, tells you your temperature in both uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit. It gives you the compensation factor, tells you the MMW uncompensated and compensated. Now over here, I've included an area where we can keep track of our experiments. Up at the top, you can name it, whatever you want. Uh, on this, I've just typed in example. Now to transfer your data, what you do is you, you copy from the, um, the top yellow line, just highlighting that area, doing a control C, bringing your um, cursor over and putting it on the timeline, or whichever line you started with. If you took the date in here too, uh, you include the date. Um, now here's the important part. You go over to edit on the, on the top here. You bring down that menu and there's a place called Paste Special. Choose Paste Special and then select Values. Say OK. And your values are input over here. If you simply do a cut 
and a copy and paste, what you're going to get is you're going to paste the formulas in over here. And that won't work because then the next exper experiment you do, you're going to change the values over here and it's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be on, on your record. Then you can come up here and you can put your data in. The other way to do this, I should have probably shown it that way, is to take your date and include that in your <coughs> in your copy. Do you control C for copy? Place it up here in the blue in the right under the blue. Go over here to your edit again. Select paste special. Click on the values, make sure that's marked, and say OK. And now your your date is also included in that. Um, you know, I, the way I do things is I often write on a piece of paper and then come in the house and, and do it, and it may not be the same day, so that's why I showed you the other way. Now you can you can put your date in here. Um, you know, like, like let's say it was 10-09. Uh, um, uh, oh, oh 08. Well, it knows that it's a date, so it will um, automatically fill that in as a date. Now, some of the other cool things is, well, of course, we can we can label these for your different exper experiments. But down here, if you hover over this, you'll see that there comes up with a comment. Now, to place comments, like for example, I'm going to place a comment here. I click on that square, do a right click, and then select insert comment. And then I can type in my comment here. Now that stays out of the way, but when you're looking over your data, if you want to see those comments again, you just hover over it. Um, you know, for example, you might want to mention how much uh, KOH solution you were using, or your gap dimensions, or your cell layout, like a 5N3, whatever. You can you can put this extra data in, in there. Now going back to the instructions, I've um, I've included how to uh, enter your data, keeping your records, using the special paste, uh, inserting comments putting the labels at the top, that's where I have example, and um, how to print your pages. Now, to print your page, say you want to print your data out so you can keep a record of it on paper. Well, this is already uh, formatted to, to print out this table and the next table down, and it'll print it out in a um, uh, landscape and then, uh, and that fits on one one page. I've um, given you more than those two, though, so you can keep track of a lot of different records, a lot of different experiments. Uh, if you need to change what part of this you want to print, um, I've given you the instructions there too. It's it's pretty standard for. Uh, how you do Excel. Okay, um, well, I, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, careful with your experiments and uh, have fun and do some good research.